just got touched. Whoa. Did you see that? A brand new name with four different confirmations. There's nobody in the room over here. There's nobody in there. We're here at the Harmony Inn, a 150-year-old bar that has ghost stories that stem all the way back to the 1800s with claims of poltergeist activity in the bar, strange noises on the second floor, as well as a dark presence. Now, this is just some of the paranormal claims the painters have talked about. We were here and invited by them to investigate this building and see if we can't add to the ghost stories. So what experiences have you heard from your employees or patrons? So we've, it, I've, from multiple employees and patrons, things like uh, glasses falling off of shelves, hearing sounds at night when they're here, closing, uh, doors shutting, footsteps. Uh, I've had an employee tell me about uh, an occasion where he was here early in the morning. As he was coming down the stairs, he heard footsteps behind him. And he, he said he was, you know, kind of joking around and he turned around and he's like, oh, you guys following me. He had turned all the lights on. He heard steps, boom, 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 coming down the steps behind him. And then he turned around and the lights were off, but nothing was there. So a lot of activities, what he's kind of explaining right now, that's pretty intense, actually. For sure. Uh, and this was all recent, uh, just within the last couple of weeks. So what can you tell me about grandma's room? Grandma's room, um, the stories that I have heard, she was one of the owners here, uh, had lots of children, took care of the, the children with tuberculosis because at one point this was a, it got turned into a tuberculosis hospital. Well, she contracted tuberculosis and at the time they had no idea how to dispose of the body so they built her body, her deceased body, into the walls because they thought that the disease couldn't get back through the wall. I don't know for sure is true, but it would be nice to be able to try to get some light shed on that. So lastly, can you give us any more details of the skeleton that's buried outside the kitchen in the wall? Um, so honestly, I, I can't say that I know for sure that that is factual. Um, but I have heard from different uh, patrons here, different people that have worked on the building, that at one point in time they found an infant skeleton. I don't know if, that it was exercised or anything like that. These are just things that I've heard. But in all of the different reports that we've heard of people seeing children, apparitions of children in the place, um, I, it kind of follows along those lines. So it would be great to have some more light shed on that. So your grandmother lived here in the 1900s. Mm -hmm. uh, what sort of claims has she told you about the Harmony Inn? Well, at that time uh, when she moved here, she, um, as far as claims go, she she experienced, uh, told my wife when we came up here, uh, probably we were up here in 2013 or something like that. In addition to all the memories that came flooding in, uh, she's like, yeah, I can, I can feel something here. Uh, it's kind of a presence. One thing she shared with me, a number of things, is uh, I know there's claims about a, a person uh, named Louie that uh, uh, people have discussed here in their experiences. And and uh, my great-great-grandfather's name was Louis Napoleon Lusk. When talking to my mom about a few months ago about this, uh, she's like, yeah, old Louie. And I go, wait a minute. And she says, Louie, yes, that's what what we called them. I'm like, interesting, because you're not going to find that on the internet. So maybe good old great-great-grandpa is uh, haunting the place. <laughs> One thing that uh, she was she was always enamored with this gentleman named Henny. Now, Henny was a stable boy. The preferred mode of travel at the time was for some buggy. Well, back here, we uh, she pointed out that they used to have stables, and she remembered it like it was yesterday. She remembered this gentleman named Henny, and he was in charge of the horses, guests, guests horses. And um, unfortunately, he met his demise out here. Uh, he broke his neck. I don't know if anybody's experienced anything as far as Henny goes. If I were a betting man, I would think he's, he's probably made his presence here as well. Is there any information you would like us to pull from this investigation tonight? Absolutely. My grandmother uh, passed away in 2016 at the age of 101, and she has strong ties to this area. And I can confidently say she has quite a strong bond to this place. 
when at the moment she stepped through that door, it's like she went back in time. And you can tell she just has a strong connection. It's like she's reliving the past. And discussing her great great grandfather, or excuse me, her grandfather, and um, sharing just stories they just came pouring out. Uh, and um, I wouldn't be surprised if she's here. <laughs> here investigate grandma's room. We believe that she contracted TB back in the 1800s. She died here and was supposedly buried in the wall somewhere. So she used to watch the children here. So we're gonna go in here and see what we can find out. As Bill was saying, she had tuberculosis, she died, claims her, her body's in the wall. Grandma, if that is actually true, can you please give us a sign? We have K2, which is an EMF reader. We have another uh, motion detector. We have the REM pod, which again is another EMF detector. So can you make one of those go off for us, please? Grandma, is it true that your body or your remains are buried somewhere in these walls? Can you make one of these devices light up? I mean, you gotta think too, that'd be pretty nuts. Like, if her bodies were actually buried in the walls. Yeah. Yeah. I, I understand yeah. tuberculosis. Walls too. Yeah. The tuberculosis was bad, don't get me wrong. I know back then they didn't have all the medical that we have and the technology. Slinkage. So that's cool. When we were talking about tuberculosis and medical and stuff, that could go off. So maybe she might be in here with us. So grandma, that's what everybody refers to you as. You know, what what's your real name? Can you tell us your real name? Like, that'd be awesome if you're here present with us. Did you die in this room? It's actually a good question, too, because you think about it. Again, she was buried in here. They referenced this as grandma's room, but did she actually die in here? Yeah, yeah, do you have it? All right, so what we're going to do now is what's called ESD's method. We've got a spirit box in here with Nicole, and she's going to wear some headsets. We're going to ask some questions quietly, and she's going to listen to the responses and yell out what the responses are. Did you die from complications from TB? Hi. Okay, so maybe, maybe this is her. Okay. Hi, Grandma. So, Grandma, we got a hi. We want to know, is that you? If so, can you tell us your name, please? I believe. Okay. You believe that your body may be buried in the wall? Old. Old? Are you referencing to your the, age? The age of the building. George. George? We got a name. Is George one of the kids? Child. Oh, dear. Wow, it's okay, so we're talking to George that possibly is a child. Running. George, where are you running to? We, George Lusk. Good one. Are we talking to George Lusk? Stuck. Are you stuck in this building? I am. Oh, dude. Is there a reason why you're stuck in this building? Are you lost? Room. Bro. What room are you stuck in? We're standing. Well, we're standing in a Now. Are you referencing to us? Girl. Nicole? This is really fire. I know it is. Can one spirit at a time communicate with us? George. Run, run. So there are a lot of kids right now. There's a lot of activity with the kids. Can we please talk to George Lusk again? The kids used to run around up here and play games. George. Dude, I asked for George. We got it. Okay, George. Can you please tell us where you're stuck at? Maybe we can help you. Free. You want to be free? Which room are you stuck in? Kid. Jeez, kids. Kids. Yeah. Maybe he's stuck 
because of the kids. Like he doesn't want to move on and leave the kids here. Look here. Which way do you want me to look? Listen, and I have, I don't know if you can see that Carlo, but I have goosebumps. As soon as it said, look here, there's a mirror right in front of me. And I looked up and there was something very dark. Oh, it looked like a mirror, I'm sorry, it's a picture. But when we look, look here. When we look at that, it was like a very dark thing right between us. Why does it keep saying, look here? I'm trying to figure out where it wants us to look. I'm here. Where, where George? Her. Nicole. Maybe George is trying to impersonate me in her body. Or is he standing beside her? I. I what? Here. Dude, it's like breaking this. You hear her. Me? I hear Behind. Her. He's behind me. I talked about the picture. I talked about the picture. It looks like a mirror to us. Or are they talking about the wall? Oh my God. George. What if it's not grandma in the wall? Behind. Boys. It's still be grandma. True. I was standing behind the car. Not. We said it could still be grandma and it said not. Very interesting. Wow. That, and that's the most, I'm here. It, George is George is here or she's there. Somebody is the prominent one showing right now. Alright, so we got a lot of activity going on in there. Um, why don't we go ahead and go do the stairs right. steps? See if we can't contact some of the children. Obviously we had a lot of kid activity going on through the Estes method. Now let's see if we can't contact them on the stairs. Right now, we're at the bottom of the steps. The stairway leads up to the second floor. We also, we are, look at, guys, we've got a motion going off. And this is going to lead into what we're trying to do. So, this is pretty awesome, actually, without even asking a question. So, we're going to try to communicate with the children that we were, or we're trying to communicate with us through the Estes method of a grandma's room. We have two mo or four motion balls and a REM pod. We're going to see if they can't make any of these go off. I also have a voice recorder. See if we can't capture a new name that we don't know of yet. All right, for all the children that were up there that were trying to communicate with us through our Estes method, we have some balls out, we have a REM pod. Can you please come forward and make one of these light up? All you gotta do is touch them. The little girl who runs around up there. Can you come down the steps, please? Oh yeah, that's the little girl that there's there's stories about they see her whenever patrons are up there eating, yeah, like during lunch. Yes, something. a white dress. So maybe we can get her to communicate with us. Yeah. If you don't want to touch the balls, maybe you want to touch our other device that's in the middle of the steps. It has a red top and it's black and it has a little antenna. If you touch it, it'll change colors and make noise. Yeah. Somebody's up there. So right now, right now, while we're hearing something up there, Nicole, why don't you go to the top and see if there's anything up there. If there's someone up there, there might be something else moving around up there. There's knocking in the room over here. There's nobody in there. There's a big knock. Okay, so Nicole heard it, a knock from the second store or second floor to the room to the right. That could possibly be one of the kids' spirits. I mean, you gotta think about it. Probably pretty scary, like, I don't know who we are. So, True. I mean, the best thing we can try to do is give them a little comfort, maybe entice them to come out a little bit. You know what I mean? So, if you guys are willing to come out, oh, motion yes. ball, motion yes. ball, yes. 
And just as I'm talking about enticing them and like they're scared of us, whatever, that's awesome. That's huge. Can you come down a little further? Did you hear the stairs? Oh, again. Nice. Did you hear the stairs like creak? I heard a creak in the steps. Okay, let's see if we get into do a different ball. So whatever child spirit's here with us, you really like that ball. Can you please play with a different ball to the ones above it? Can you come a little closer, please? Oh, oh out nice. here! Holy oh hell! My God. Larry, right here. Oh, I'm coming in. Right here. Ooh. Can you walk up four more steps for me? Do the click. Did you? Yeah. Wow. He scared it. Are you still here with us? If you're still here with us, we got excited, I know. Oh, bam. Yes. That's like double on command, like asking, bam. And pretty cool too, because it's able to literally skip past the REM pod and the other motion ball and come right to this one. Yeah. Was it the girl spirit that was playing with our motion balls. Was that you? If so, can you please make one of those light up? Or can you please talk to us through our voice recorder? Was it the girl spirit that was playing with our motion balls? Was that you? If so, can you please make one of those light up? Or can you please talk to us through our voice recorder? I heard like a breath. Yeah. Did you hear that too? Yeah. I heard a breath. Yeah. Okay, so let's try and keep at maybe it is that child spirit, that girl. Let's see if we can there oh, the And I just talked about maybe it's a child girl spirit. Yeah. Can you come down and tell me your name? I have children. I'd like to know your name. All right, so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go outside in the parking lot. That is the club where Henny supposedly died while he was here on this property. Also, there is a story about an infant child. The bones were buried right in like a wall right by where the kitchen entrance is. So we're gonna see if we can't come in contact with either one of them. All right, Henny. We're out here looking for you. Claim is that you died somewhere on the property. We're just not sure where it was. This camera here will allow me to see you. Was this a uh, horse accident that you were killed? In? We have a device here, Henny, that if you walk in front of it, or if you want to be seen, it will pick you up and it will not harm you. Think of like how they would have had it set up when it was an inn. So my thoughts, and you guys tell me what your thoughts are. My thoughts are maybe the horses would have possibly been like lined up right here out back, the building. Actually, yeah, that's a... And that's where Henny would have been taking care of them. So maybe we can set the REM pod up over here and fixate and see if we can pick up an anomaly or anything. Right now we also just put out two uh, mag lights they're kind of hard to see because they're blending in with the, the gravel here. But there's one on each side of that REM pod. You guys ready? Henny, if you're out here with us, can you maybe light up one of our devices or come speak into my device I am holding? I lay it out. Ooh, oh, nice. nice. If that was in fact you, Henny, can you please confirm? Can you make one of those lights go off for us again, please? Shit! Oh, look at that! Man. Do you have the SLS pointed there? Yeah, but I'm not getting anything. Okay. Hey guys, this could be huge. Could. We could literally be the first people actually talking to Henny right now. Yeah. That'd be nuts. If it is Henny, because we just want confirmation, does the name Louie or Stella 
ring a bell to you? If so, can you make one of these lights light up? Oh, there it my is. Lord. Right on cue. Right on demand. That that's is the third, nuts. That's the third one. Right on demand. Am I speaking to the one who broke their neck in an accident? Go ahead and light up that flashlight again for me. He didn't, it didn't happen when he directly asked. As soon as I played it on exactly. here. Exactly. That's crazy. Guys, a brand new name yeah. with four different confirmations. All right, I got one, ready? Penny, did you definitely pass away from your neck breaking? We just need confirmation of that. Can you light up one of the lights? Did you definitely pass away from your neck breaking? We just need confirmation of that. Can you light up one of the lights? Right there. And it did it again. With the voice recorder. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest. That's insane. Five. Yeah. I mean, sometimes people are lucky to get one. We got five. I don't know what else we need to get out of that. Five confirmations of Henny. Let's try this now. Let's see, we got Henny. Let's see if we can't try to contact that infant spirit or if it's just a story, if it's real. Let's see if we can do that. First off, I wanna say thank you, Henny, because we appreciate you communicating with us. Now, we, we do wanna know there is another story about an infant in the wall, the body remains are all in the wall. If that's true, can something light up on here to indicate that story is true, please. Oh, again. Guys, are we going for a Hail Mary here? I think we surpassed the Hail Mary. I mean, this is like, this is nuts. I'll tell you right now, like, <sighs> these mag lights are very credible. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. We ask a question, it does something. And we're really getting answers and responses like, bam, bam, right to what we're asking. Think about this. Listen, they said grandmother's body was buried in the wall of that room because of tuberculosis. Now, there was a story about an infant buried in a wall, and that might just be the key of why. Whoa, that flashlight. Oh my God, and that, that's, it's this. going off as you're saying it. Guys, that we, we could have honestly solved the puzzle of why that infant's remains were in the wall. So my thoughts are is they used a lot of energy in this quick little session. Maybe we should try something else. What are your thoughts? Okay, let's try something else. All right. Let's try the SLS. Let's see if we can't. Honestly, because that's not a lot of energy base. All they're doing is going to kind of walk in front of it. So let's see if we can't get something to walk in front of that SLS to show itself. Henny, if you're still out here, will you please walk in front of this camera to show yourself? Just come stand in front of me, please. Keep panning around here. Is this the area where you used to go ahead and take care of all the horses as a stable boy? If so, can you show yourself on that device? Give us an indication that this is the, the area that you used to do that. Or how about if you stand in front of me and point to the direction of where the stable used to be? Is there anything else that may be out here that wants to communicate with us? Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you get something? Oh, yeah. Right on the rear of the car. It's on the car. Henny, if this is you, can you point and show me where the um, stable was? Actually, Nicole, grab a flashlight. 
Wait a second. That just turned on. Again. That did just turn on. I wonder if that's his way of pointing. Maybe. Yeah. That's what. Whoa. Did you see that? Look at that. I'm honestly, let's think about this. We got a lot of responses here in this area. Bill did capture an anomaly over here. Okay. We did ask, can you point to where you used to take care of the horses? That flashlight went off. So to me, that's an indication. Maybe it was right in here. Yes. And this is, that's kind of been the hot spot. Yeah. So sure, he could be over there, but that's, he can also make and manipulate that to go off to give us an indication that's the area that he would take care of the horses. If that is true, can you either shut that light off, make the REM pod go off, or turn the other light on, please? Oh, there it is. Right on command. So maybe it's thinking this is the area where the stables were isn't a bad thought. Yeah, because at the last second before I panned off of that, he was pointing down, so he might have been saying the stable was right here. Right here. So if you tie it all together, he's pointing down. We asked to point somewhere down. That goes off. This has been the hot spot. We have contacted Henny, which I'm sorry, but I'm really confident that that's who we contacted, and the infant child and might have solved that case of why she was buried and her body remains were buried in the actual wall. The TB. TB. Yeah, they didn't want it to leave the building. They would bury it in the wall, just like they did with grandma. Okay, so we're here in the bar area. We have the general manager, Julian. And we have Sean here. His grandmother used to live here at the Harmony Inn. We're gonna do a quick session. We have all of our tools going. The SLS, we're gonna keep stationary, see if we can pick up something maybe behind the bar. And we have the motion balls all spread out across the bar itself, along with the teddy bear sitting at the other end of the bar with the Phasma box. So hopefully we can get a really good session and hopefully get some answers. We also have a flashlight, K2 in the wine cage. That's the REM pod and that's the REM pod. Oh. Whoever's manipulating that REM pod, can you please go ahead and make it light up again? Get close to it, that's all you gotta do. Flashlight. Flashlight's just going on. So right now we got a bunch of activity happening and we really haven't even started our session. All right, Nicole, kick on that phasma box and see if we get anything to come through and talk to us. That's the REM pod again. REM pod again, yep. Is there something back in... Oh, motion ball. Whoa. You have to be done. And a flashlight, what'd it say? You have to be done. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're just getting started. Can I ask you please to shut off that flashlight? Move away from it. Thank you. Now, can you please touch the other device right above it that has a green light on it? Touch it. Do you want me to come there and touch it? If you do, give me an indication. I'll show you how it's done. That's a pretty hard confirmation. Even Sean's looking at me like, dude, that's your cue to get in there. Here's what you have to do. <laughs> Guys, I'm not lying. This thing's not even budging. It's almost like it's frozen, and that's never, I'm shaking it, and that's never happened before. What's it doing? Is there something that's nothing, like? Oh, this is, it's never done that. Put it back up. Put it back. Is that what he said? That's what it sounded like to me. If I put it back, I want you to make this light up. REM pod. Is there anything else here with us right now? Apparently. Yes, there is. 
Someone touched my shoulder a few months ago by the chalkboard at the end of the bar. I heard I, and then there was a very faint I yes. Did. I did? That's what I heard. Mm -hmm. I did. See if you can get it to come out of the wine cellar so I can get, see if I can get a visual of it on here behind the bar. Can you come out from the wine cellar? Can you come out from the wine? It said no. Is there something negative back in the wine cellar? Is that why? What did it say? That was definitely three. Three voices trying to talk all at once. Can can you talk one at a time, please? You guys definitely know who Julian is. You see you see him all the time. He works here. This is your opportunity to really communicate with him. Go over, touch him, knock his hat off if you want to. Please. Said no. Investigate. I heard investigate. It said investigate and then it room. said message. And then there was another voice. Maybe the other voice said back room, but I didn't I catch it. That would make sense. Which back room? Let's there's see. a room right there's a cubby hole. <laughs> they just went on. There's a cubby hole back here. It used to be a bathroom. Uh, let's see if I can't push or flush whatever's here out. All right, to whoever you are. Have fun. Dude, instantly. It said have fun. Oh, yeah. And it's literally right over here. Yeah, it's right there. That is confirmation, dude. That flashlight keeps going off. And as soon as we pan right in here, boom. Just gonna get a little tight back here. Can somebody just turn a light on? Did you see a light just go on? Here at this angle. You watched me turn this timer off earlier to shut the perimeter lights off. You didn't just turn on. Yeah, I saw that come on outside. I shut this off yeah, I saw with you earlier while you guys were... I did that and yeah, it just yeah. turned back on. <laughs> the timer is set to turn on again at tomorrow at uh, 8 p.m. I want to say real fast, just to give a little confirmation that what we did capture here a second ago, that anomaly, there's nothing here now. And I'm pointing right at it and I scanned. There is no anomaly anymore in there. Maybe that's what went over and turned the timer on. But pan around and see if I can't maybe capture, maybe it's an anomaly over there. Is that what you heard? That's what I heard. Where do you want these guys to go? Oh my lord! Dude, that's a tour left. It said to your left, <laughs> your left and it, there it was. That is, that's nuts, dude. That literally, wow, look, it's pointing, dude. Okay. It's gone now. Where did you go from there? Mm -hmm. Bam, on the bar, gone. Do any of you know Sean's grandmother? Basically me. It's basically me. Is are are you Sean's grandmother? What is your name? There's something that's like whispering in the background and I can't make out what it's saying. Do you hear it? It's just like this constant little like whisper and I can't make it out. We're all talking all at once. I heard Elizabeth. Is Elizabeth one of the names? Didn't Elizabeth actually stay here, work here? Yeah. 
you know Gene Lusk? Oh, that's a response right there, though. That's right on top of that. Go ahead, ask another question about that. What do you know about, well, I can't ask that, but. Yeah, you can. Um, how did, did you know Gene Musk in life? No. You all right? I definitely just got to talk to Purple. Purple again, double and. Purple and blue. You got touched? I have right, right here. Point again? Maybe. I mean, it was just a whoa, whoa, look at something's forming. Oh, yeah. Right yeah. there. Did you get marked? Oh, my God, there's two. One, two. Did you right here, Julian? here, and here. Oh, yeah, actually, there is three distinct marks. Definitely. There was. Yeah. Well, he just asked, did you scratch Julian? And it said definitely. And then the REM pod went off too, double confirmation. Julian. Walk can you touch me again? Touch you? Yes. Can you scratch me? Those people. Those people, are you talking about us? So you can't scratch everybody? Don't touch them. That was a female's voice. Yes, it was. That was what? It was a male voice that answered about scratching you that said definitely. It was a female voice that said don't touch them. Who's here trying to protect us? Is that you, Elizabeth? Were you kind of a caretaker here? Did you watch the children here? Lips sealed. Lips sealed? You seal? I heard an Ann in there as well. Lips sealed. Their lips are sealed. They didn't tell me you anything. Grandma, no one knows the name. Not as far as I know. Um, I Again, it's always been just a story. I've never been able to find anything to, you know, solidify that because, you know, we get questions all the time. Sure. And I like to know as much as I can about all of the history of this place. So I do look into it. I, I, I'm very into it. Sure. And I, I've never been able to find any kind of confirmation about it. It said, hey. <laughs> Are we ignoring you and you don't like that? Come clean. What's grandma's name? Come clean. Come clean, let's go. There's something you want to talk about. Is the grandma story real? If it is, come clean. I want to know if it's true about the tuberculosis. Is it true that if you contracted tuberculosis, you were not buried outside? You were buried in here and stuck in here, so it didn't have an outbreak. Is that true? Were you one of them that contracted? Don't say. Red pod. And I did ask, were you one of them? Yeah. So right now we could be communicating with somebody that actually did contract tuberculosis. Yes. Is this grandma? No. We love. We love. That's what I heard too. So one of the children. Stories were children, they were the ones that contracted it first. Grandma took care of them. She got it from them. And she died. And so, she died. The children were all housed in the attic. Is that true? Oh, that's still an indication. And I can tell you right now that, what'd that say? 
Allie, I couldn't make it out. Allie something. Allie, is that your name? Are you one of the children's? Are you messing with our REM pod? Oh, we finally got a confirmation of a name. Thank you, thank you. Child, Allie, we finally got something we could put together there. Allie, I see, yeah. What do you see? This is knowledge, it said. Oh my, and it says this is knowledge. Thank you. Are you the child spirit that they see walking around the second floor? Is that you, Allie? If it is, can you please confirm? Oh! It's yellow. Bam! Thank you very much. Finally, dude, we got a story that we can literally put together and it's Allie. It's the little girl that they see on the second floor. Allie, you were one of the ones that grandma watched? If so, can you please confirm? Oh! Boom! That is, dude, that's, that's nuts! That's amazing. That puts a little bit of light to grandma is real. Mm -hmm. so my question about grandma now is, mm -hmm. when they say grandma, are they referring to... Wait, wait, not to cut you off. What did that just say? It said, I am. As soon as you said grandma, it said, I am. Oh, wow. yeah. Your grandma or your great-grandma or great-great-grandma? Or is this the grandma or is this somebody else's grandma? buried in the wall? I'm not sure. I would, if anything, I would think like a great-great-my great-great-grandmother. Because little Sigler had a wife. She passed away and then he got married again to a much younger woman, and she was here until the 60s, known as Nam. Do you know Nam? <laughs> Nam, it just Nam. said it. Go ahead, Chuck, go ahead, baby. Did, uh... Oh! Now, my grandmother was also known as Nan. Do you know her? It sounded like it just said, yes, I do. Do you know who I am? That's confirmation. It's creepy. <laughs> it's like, it's creepy. It's like, it's creepy. <laughs> Somebody knows you. Yeah. Knows, knows you. you. Knows you. <laughs> He's like, I'm ready to go. <laughs> we got Allie, child spirit, the girl that roams up in the upstairs. We got confirmation of grandma. We got Nam. Henny. Knows you. What'd you say? Henny. Henny. We got Henny. Got confirmation of the infant. I mean, you five names. We got you Elizabeth. Did. You did. We got Elizabeth. Don't know exactly who Elizabeth is. Got another name. Six actual confirmed claims. Names. We finally, grandma does exist. We can all agree to that, right? Yes. Grandma exists. So to me, honest to God, this, this is nuts, actually. This is like the 4th of July. <laughs> Sean got confirmation. Sean came here from Maryland. Like this is something that we strive for. And you got validation, you got validation. Yes. For us as investigators, we got validation. I think to us, that's a wrap. That's a home run right there. Keep an eye out for our socials. We'll be running an event here in October where we'll be doing 30 minute investigations for every room that you see in this video. So please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Oh, oh, oh right on, right on, right on, right on. Dude, ironically, it's in front of Jacob Nelling's yes. cell. Is whoever's lighting that REM pod up, do they have any? I heard that. That's what we heard before. That was a big bang. I couldn't tell if it came from there. I don't know if it was up here in the back.